Here's my day two 15 minute challenge using a photograph and check out how I made this little bag and what the story is behind it. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here for day two of Johanna. I'm sorry I said her name wrong. I know better. Johanna Clow. Um, her 15 minute journal challenge and today you are to use a photograph. Um, unfortunately, I am running out of black ink in my photo, um, in my printer, but I do want to go ahead and use this. I have some great pictures that we'll be using of their faces. Um, this is a uh, restaurant in Ventura that my mom used to like to go to that she called the world's best french fries so i'm going to do my page on that i have my timer set and ready and um so let's go so i wanted to go ahead and put my photograph in the back of this um day one okay so we have a couple of things that are happening here um I have the sticker that I got at Target that I thought I would go ahead and place on here and that would cover up some of the funky color okay and it matches our blue sky so I think that that will be great now I'm gonna want to save my other piece because I'll use that somewhere else Okay, so I will I will go ahead and write on here later about the world's best french fries. This was packaging from some um, stickers that I had, and I'm just going to go ahead and place this in here. Okay. So there we go. I have my photograph. Now another thing that has happened is this lace is not sticking here. I happen to have the um, leftover pieces after I have um, <laughs> after I have I'm going to go um, did the binding for this journal. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie my knot time or not I'm gonna let it hang down because I can go ahead and add something there and I thought I would do like um, like a chain stitch kind of thing so I'm fine that this is gonna hang down right it's gonna hang down and I might add something and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch this by hand on to my journal okay so you know if you don't have a sew machine it's okay and what's happening on the other side is I'm getting a straight stitch okay but on this side I have a chain stitch I think it's called a chain stitch it's been so long and I <laughs> I'm not gonna be super worried about how far apart my my um, pieces are so again this was deli paper and lace and I uh, tried to glue it with the fabric tack it worked on the ends but the center I guess I didn't hold it together long enough and it just it just came undone so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and it will take care of that problem and I think it's actually kind of cool have this stitching here okay so I have two pieces because I, I um, when I thread needles a lot of times I'll thread like five needles and um, then I can save the and then I save the little pieces that are left like this one after I've done binding so that I have it to 
find uh, the little books or little things that I might make, or heck, maybe to do some embroidery right on my um, page here. Oh, we don't want it to come undone. Okay, so just, there we go. Okay, so the sticker sheet that you saw, that was from Target Bullseye area. I just got that this last week and um, has great summer things and I got it knowing that I'd be able to do this. Um, I might put together some kind of little summer kit with uh, some of the items that I'll be that I'm using and oh I'm stuck. Don't get stuck. How am I stuck? I don't know how I got stuck you guys. I'm stuck. I mean I am stuck. Okay, Let's see, I don't know what was going on there, but we were stuck, we're still stuck. And it's ripping my paper. I mean, I, I am really stuck. <laughs> of course I am, it's on video. So somehow it paused, um, but all we were doing was looking for a needle that we could continue our little thing here. Um, I, I don't know what happened, but my needle was very compromised. Okay, so let's come back in here. We'll put something over that, that's okay. That was a trip. My needle has um, rough spots on it, like it had uh, tried to go through something metal, or like scissors had, or a, had tried to cut it. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go up. So we are just finishing our little chain stitch on our deli paper here. Let's go around the top. Okay. We're gonna go up as far as we can. I think we're, actually, I think we're there. I'm not gonna go up any further. Okay. So that's our chain stitch. Let's just do a straight stitch. So be really careful with your deli paper. And here we go. And I still like it. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off. Oh my gosh, what happened? Stop. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't know. And so next time we need to find a way to cover this so that I don't keep hitting that. Okay, so there's our page. Now the thing about this place is they, they serve you your um, french fries in a brown paper bag. So you can see I have this little gift check. It's not quite a brown paper bag. I'm gonna turn it into a little brown paper bag.
just by, and you can also, you if you've seen my tiny envelope, turning it into a bag, it's kind of the same idea. We're going to go in from both sides at about between a quarter and a half of an inch. And then the bottom, I'm just going to use that for my, um, for my, uh, my guide. Okay. And then you can open it up. Okay. Open it up, open it up, open it up. Now you have a little paper bag. Okay. And you can do, like I said, you can do this with a closed envelope also. Um, I have a couple videos where I've made little gift bags and used them in Happy Mail. Okay, so then you've got your little points, you pull them down. Little point, pull it down. And then you'll you'll want to glue or tape your your little things down. the whole top off. Okay. So here I'll put a little glue on the edge. And I might add a the other pictures onto this other page but for sure I need my paper bag paper bag I'm holding okay so this is my little paper bag And the thing is, is you get your, you get your French fries, they have the oily looking thing. I mean, that's all, oh gosh. And you rip open your bag to get, to open to the French fries. That's how you, that's how you do it. You set it on the table. It's all part of how you do this. So, um, I am going to go ahead and glue this down. Wow, I need fabric tack again. Mm. I've been buying the little ones since, well, two reasons. One, they were out of it this last time, but also um, so that I would use it before it got yucky. I'm leaving the space so that if I want to um, to add a photograph in there, I can add a photograph. I'm gonna go ahead and go off the edge just a little, glue it on. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. So my other thing, now I've used my picture. I've made my little bag that is part of the ephemera of this experience. And then I'm going to go ahead. And a lot of these ideas I came up with, um, you know, while we were doing whatever we've been doing. So these are French fries. One, two, three, four, five. And I am going to have, and the other thing is, is they, they leave the skins on their french fries, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and distress. Hopefully I can find the brown. Sorry about my arm. Um, I'm going to distress the edges, just the two edges. Okay because they do leave the skin on the french fries. That is part of, I'm gonna have my grandkids, myself and my husband, write very small about our world's greatest french fries experience. And then they will be in the french fry bag. And I'll tell you what, we bought one order and the last little piece of french fry 
was eaten just as the last pastrami sandwich. That's what we got. We we bought three pastrami sandwiches and cut them and had them cut in half. And so so there. So I have a picture. Um, I I just I don't want to print any more pictures before we've got that. Um, so I'm gonna put that picture here of every of the three kids with their sandwiches and their french fry. They're all holding a french fry. And um, so that will be our world's greatest french fry. And I will write about it here. Okay, so I think this is gonna be really fun. Again, watch out with your lace and your deli paper. And um, I hope that you can work that out. I'm going to see if I, you know, come up with some kind of a charm or some, a rock or something that's got a hole in it. And we will be using that. Find something to celebrate. Oh, we've got time. We've got time. We can't take a deep breath. <laughs> Have a great day. We did it. Okay. So what do we got push done? 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 Stop. Turn it off. <laughs> Find something to celebrate every day. Go check out Johanna Clow um, and her 15-minute journal challenge. And if you want her to see it, put your picture and your story on um, Instagram with the hashtag 15, the number 15 minute journal challenge it's a lot of fun and um so i would love to know what you think of my little <laughs> memory here and again sorry about the mess up on the clock and the mess up with the with there and have an amazing day thanks for being here bye bye bye